Being connected to your inner child is imperative to your happiness. And that means facing and solving uncomfortable past traumas and emotional hurts that you would rather leave in the past. Keep listening to find out more. Welcome to my podcast, You Can Be Unstoppable. My name is Evelina Szczoblowska and I am very grateful to be able to bring to you episode number 20. So, are you aware of the term inner child? Maybe you heard that term, but you didn't pay much attention. It may seem a bit cliche, but it is important nevertheless. I certainly wish someone told me about the inner child when I was in my teens. It would have saved me years of heartache, but then I would be a very different person. The inner child is very much a thing that lives within you, within your psyche. It is part of your subconscious mind or a character that tends to take over when you are faced with challenges. Your inner child is powerful and complex. It will impact your emotions, behavior, decisions and relationships quite often without you even knowing most of the time. That's why it is important to reconnect with your inner child. Most of your current issues that you are struggling with, such as self-sabotage, failed relationships, career issues, emotional pain, or self-destructive behaviors, are connected to this unconscious part of you. That inner child who experiences emotional or psychological neglect or trauma still lives within you. So although you are all grown-ups physically, emotionally and psychologically, that hurt child is still within you. Often that child was denied love, it was rejected, neglected or abandoned. And now it demands the attention. If that happened to you in the past as a child, now you may struggle with um, aspects such as self-esteem or self-worth. You are ignoring your emotional needs. Perhaps you have some anger issues. Uh, Maybe you are struggling to sustain healthy relationships. Perhaps you are addicted to alcohol, drugs, food or shopping. When your basic needs were not met when you were a child, then there is a capacity for a wide range of issues that your inner child is struggling with at the moment. You must struggle with repressed emotions that you were told not to feel as a child. For example, if you are only acknowledged when you were good, then your inner child may potentially hold to being rebellious, sad or angry. If you experience any trauma, you may have learned to hide pain to survive. The problem with that is quite often the repressed emotions shows up somewhere years later down the line and often in harmful ways causing pain and illnesses. Your inner child may hide all the things it was taught to think about yourself by parents or teachers. This can sound like um, children don't have a voice, um, don't bother applying for this job. Perhaps you heard something along the lines of you're not the smartest of cookies. So many of us have been told that we should forget childlike innocence, wonder, joy, sensitivity and playfulness, which all represent the inner child. How many times have you been told to grow up? I certainly have been told this quite a few times while I was growing up. 
The thing is the inner child does not forget childhood hurts, traumas, fears or angers. No wonder that potentially you may feel lost, anxious, lonely, insecure or afraid while facing the big world out there. No wonder your relationships fail and you can't seem to move on with your career. Imagine engaging in a mature relationship or trying to have a professional career as a 5 or a 12 year old girl that was wounded. So many grown-ups have no idea that this is the case or they are claiming that they've dealt with their emotional baggage. In short, it is imperative to access your inner child in order to find the roots to causes of your adult issues. After reconnecting and doing some work around your inner child, you will be able to release emotions that are holding you back. You will recognize all the unmet needs. You will resolve unhelpful patterns, behaviors and habits. You will rediscover creativity and playfulness and as a result you will raise your self-worth and self-awareness. What can you do to achieve this, you may ask? Well, I have a few suggestions for you. Become conscious of your inner child for the start. Be aware of that child needs. As adults, we still need love, acceptance and protection. Nurturance as much as when we were children. Take your child seriously and communicate with her regularly. Listen to what that child has to say. Learn to fulfill your needs by yourself. Become a loving parent to yourself. Looking for those things outside of you will only bring you trouble. Confront your past and heal any traumas, disappointments or sadness. Meditation is a great way of opening a door to connect with the inner child. Also, hypnotherapy can be an amazing tool to help you to connect and to rediscover your inner child. Once you get to the point when you're truly psychologically grown up with healed inner child that you will acknowledge, accept, and when you will take responsibility for loving and parenting your inner child, your career and life will move to quite another level. I hope that this episode helped you to understand that no matter where you are at, it is important and valuable for you to reconnect with your inner child. Thank you very much for listening and if you think that this podcast is of value, then please share it with friends and family. If you would like to work with me, You can book a consultation by following a link located in the description of this podcast. 